A math teacher claims she has developed a review course that increases the scores of students on the math portion of a college entrance exam. Based on data from the administrator of the exam, scores are normally distributed. With a mu of 523, the teacher obtains a random sample of 2,000 students, puts them through the review class, and finds the mean math score of those 2,000 students is 528, with a standard deviation of 116. All right, so the null hypothesis would be that the mean remains at 523, just the same as the regular population. The alternative would be that the score has been increased from 523 to something bigger. To test at an alpha level of 0.10, um, okay, we wanna do a hypothesis test. Let's go back here, let's do a new hypothesis test. T stat with a one sample with summary data. The sample mean uh, was 528 as stated in the problem, the sample standard deviation of 116, the sample size of 2000. The null hypothesis was that the mu was equal to 523 and the alternative is that it increased from 523. And let's compute. Well, we get a T stat of 1.927. Uh, two decimal places, that would be 1.93. The p-value, 0.027. Uh, Is the sample mean statistically significantly higher? Again, we checking whether this p-value is less than the alpha level. p-value of 0 0.027, alpha level of 0 0.10, that p-value is less. That means we say there, yes, there is statistically significant evidence that the, sam that the mean is higher than the population mean from that null hypothesis. So, although we can be statistically confident or we're, there's statistically significant evidence that this teacher's, uh, this teacher's review course does improve math scores, a sam um, raising the mean from 523 to 528 probably is not uh, very important. Um, so this is an example of when some uh, something can be statistically significant, although not practically important. So significance and importance aren't the same thing. All right, so now let's take another s sample. Let's uh, let's edit our hypothesis test. I'm going to move things over a tad. So now suppose our sample mean is still 528. Um, the sample standard deviation is still 116, but suppose the sample size was 375 instead, smaller sample size. Now let's see what the results from the hypothesis test would be. So now the test statistic is 0.83 and the p-value is 0.202. Is the mean statistically significantly higher? No, it's not anymore. The p-value is greater than our alpha level. Remember, our alpha level is 0.10, so that's not less than that. It's not significantly higher in the statistical sense. So what would we conclude? As the sample size increases, let's see, the likelihood of rejecting the null hypothesis will increase. However, large samples tend to overemphasize practically insignificant differences. That's another way of saying unimportant. Okay, great. So that's how we can do hypothesis tests in StatCrunch. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this helps.